Hi friends! Today I'm going to be talking about a few mistakes or things that kind of happen in the invitation process and some etiquette. So I'm going to show you a wedding invitation from Elegant Invites because it's absolutely gorgeous and this is what I am going to be referencing today when I'm talking about some of these etiquette options to consider. So the first thing that I see that's a common mistake is when you are sending out your RSVP card where you are asking your guests to RSVP for your wedding, it's a common mistake to not put a stamp on this card. You should be putting a stamp on it. Your guests shouldn't have to go to the post office and buy a stamp to mail it back to you. It's your wedding, you want them to RSVP, put a stamp on it. It's very, very easy to forget. It's a commonly overlooked item. So make a little note, when you're buying stamps, you need to purchase twice the amount of stamps because you need to put a stamp on the invitation to send it to the person that's invited and then they need to send you back the RSVP card. So remember that. The next thing that's kind of a mistake, faux pas, don't put your registry information on the invitation. So this is what the invitation looks like. It's gorgeous. It has all of the wedding invitation information, their names, the location, the timing, but you'll notice that in here, there is no registry information. It's kind of a faux pas to put your registry information. You would have to assume that at this point in, in the game, your guests know where to find that. Um, everyone is super familiar with using the internet and being able to find those things very, very easily. So if you put it in your invitation, it's kind of like you're asking for gifts. We all know your guests are going to bring a gift anyways. Allow them to find the registry. Um, if you're doing a bridal shower, engagement party, they probably already have that information, but it's kind of a faux pas just to include it in here and it can get super cluttered. You can see how this is perfect, nice balance. It's not super, super cluttered in here. Keep it that way. The next thing that I see that's super commonly forgotten or misused is on the RSVP card, include how many people are coming or how many people are invited to come to the wedding. So on your RSVP card, you would include the name of the guest, i.e. John Smith or Mr. John Smith plus guest or just Mr. John Smith. You do not want to leave this open for interpretation for your guests to decide how many people they're going to be bringing. That's up to you to let them know how many people they are permitted to bring to your wedding. And on a side note about the RSVPs, when you are sending your list or your breakdown to your stationer to be able to write out your place cards or anything that you have for the wedding day, including your wedding invitations, do not assume people's pronouns. Do not take it upon yourself to decide what someone's pronoun is. If you are unsure, ask them. It's disrespectful to assume if you do not know. So please don't leave it up to your stationer to assume those things. Um, definitely leave that up to your guests to tell you that if they are open and willing to tell you that. But don't make assumptions. It's, it's rude, especially in our day and age. It's very, very rude. Um, the other thing to consider with your RSVP card is if you have something that you want to let them know that you, you feel really strongly about, um, formal attire or anything like that, include it. People may not know. Most people aren't gonna show up to your wedding in jeans and a tank top, but it could happen. So if there's something you're very, very passionate about that you want to let your guests know, like the attire because you're concerned about some people showing up, not dressed according to what you're hoping, put it in your invitation. That's totally okay. The other thing to consider is if you are not inviting children to the wedding and you have a few family members that you are sending the RSVP cards to that are going to say Mr. and Mrs. John Smith and not Mr. and Mrs. John Smith and family, you could always put a cute little note somewhere saying adults only affair, we love your kids, but we want you to be able to enjoy your night fully or something along those lines if you are concerned about it. But if you are not, totally okay to leave that out because you are telling them how many seats you're reserving for them. So that's it for this wedding invitation with Elegant Invites. 
head over to their website if you would like to order any product samples from them or see what they offer. But I can tell you that their products are super, super professional. Look at how thick this cardstock is. It's not like a typical thing that you're gonna order online and feel like you've ordered it online. These are very, very nice quality products. RSVP cards too. So if you guys have any questions about any of these etiquette and commonly forgotten items with the invitations and their RSVP cards, send me an email, send me a DM, send me a message, however you want to connect with me. I'd be happy to help you and have a great day guys.